I'm going to do a basic overview of the steps that got the Lexus V8 into this first generation Isuzu Trooper, the task of getting a 250 horsepower all aluminum Toyota V8 into a first gen Trooper. I located a salvage yard that had a low mileage 1UZ FE out of a 93 LS400 um, minus all of the accessories it wasn't too expensive about 350 bucks uh, then I had to source things like the igniter uh, the air flow meter the alternator power steering pump AC compressor etc I got one of my junk troopers brought it home and got to work first off just see if I could make the engine fit and it actually went in pretty easily um, looked like there was going to be plenty of room for everything the exhaust was a little bit tight when I got it in so I did end up having to lop off those big flanges and go with something a little smaller. Now if I was doing an automatic it would have been very easy because the LS400 uses the same automatic as the Trooper. You just unbolt the bell housing and swap the LS400 bell housing over to it but I wasn't so it became a matter of getting out all of my pieces and trying to put a puzzle together to make the LS400 bolt up to the four-cylinder five-speed transmission took a bunch of measurements off of photos and laid out some basic diagrams just to kind of get an idea of if it was going to work and started moving forward with measuring the um, crank shafts and pilot bearings uh, input shaft and try to just get an idea of where all this stuff was going to lay out how I was going to make it all work I started with a cardboard template um, just to get a rough idea I took some detailed measurements, laid them out on graph paper to get closer to where I needed to be. I consulted a friend with CAD and he helped me get a lot of the dimensions dialed in and then I drew up a blueprint essentially and took it to a machinist with a CNC plasma cutter and uh, left the plans with him for a few days and he cut me a metal plate that uh, I then had to lay out all of my measurements on and put on the drill press. So I drilled, tapped, counterbored all the holes, and uh, ended up with an adapter that would bolt to the back of the engine and would allow the transmission to be bolted directly to it. For the next step, I removed the whole front doghouse um, in order to get access around the engine so that I could build the engine mounts. Once I had the engine bolted to the transmission, I had the transmission in the stock location, then I was able to uh, just get the engine where I wanted it and then build the engine mount that would hold the engine in the proper location. I also had to notch the oil pan in order to get it to fit around the steering. Working out the electrical took some time but it wasn't overly difficult it was a matter of studying uh, the wiring diagrams from the LS400 and then uh, studying the wiring diagram for the Trooper um, I've got all of this stuff from the factory manual I downloaded the Lexus stuff off the internet I was able to study the Isuzu Trooper um, wiring loom layout as well, make sure that I knew where all of these wires were, then began the process of just marking them all, tagging them all, and then eventually cutting and splicing them all in order to uh, get all the power to all the right places, all the signals to all the right places, so that the engine would run properly and uh, all the gauges would function. From there it was a matter of working out accessories like power steering, the alternator, um, AC then cooling getting the radiator and radiator hoses in place I had to figure out what had to be cut off the radiator support in order to make that fit the power steering actually plugged right in that wasn't a problem um, I had to go with an oil relocation kit for the oil filter uh, there was some minor mods made to the exhaust as I mentioned earlier I cut off the stock flanges and went with a smaller flange after that, it became a matter of doing the final install into Justin's Trooper. Uh, we made all the mods that I had done on my mock-up Trooper to his actual daily driver and then went about installing the motor uh, in the fashion that I had figured out at home, essentially, you know, doing all the wiring and uh, radiator and the adapter, everything that was required. Unreal, bro.
bro. First start. Okay. Starts right up. It got fuel. As soon as it got fuel. 